everyone who subbed, um, you know, all of our principals uh, now, all of our assistant principals, our counselors, um, our office staff, our central office staff, they've all subbed over the last couple of weeks. And now they're either all recovering or um, they're still sick. Just so I'm clear, 100% of the people who filled in principals, admin, got COVID in some capacity. Yes, that, that's true. El Reno Superintendent Craig McVeigh tells me he even tested positive after substitute teaching. Um, I'm double vaccinated and I'm boosted. Uh, thank God. And, and I'm blessed that there's that science available. My symptoms were a low grade fever um, and hay fever type um, symptoms. Saying that's about what all of his sick employees reported as well, except one who got quite sick with COVID-19. It's personally very scary because I'm the one that makes that decision. Um, you know, and I made the decision that we were going to go face to face. I 100 percent believe that being face to face is the best way for our kids. Um, but when you're the guy that has to make that decision, go face to face and then someone gets sick, it, it takes a lot out of you. What was your reaction to the governor's announcement today, signing the executive order that would allow other state employees from different agencies to step in as substitutes? Well, the, the first thing was um, I appreciate the effort. Putting a Band-Aid on a bullet hole is not a great idea. Saying he wishes they would have done this two years ago, so background checks and training would already be in place. McVeigh tells me about a recent experience he had while stepping in to sub. I subbed um, and we combined 75, I had 75 kids in the gym uh, in four different quadrants. Um, and there was no education going on there. Um, what was going on there was we were taking care of kids while we had them. So um, they were in a safe place. They were warm. Um, they were well fed. Um, and there was an, a responsible adult. Somebody would question that sometimes, but it was me um, there to answer their questions if I could. But I'm a history teacher, um, Abigail. I'm not going to be able to help many kids with a calculus problem. 